Frank Gonzalez with Cinemark Theaters with three guys that don't need an introduction. Well, maybe one of them does. Morgan Freeman, Nick Nolte, and director uh, Rick Roman Raw from the new movie Angel Has Fallen. Gentlemen, thanks for the time. Morgan, I want to start with you. You've gone from Secretary of State to Vice President. Now you're President in this movie. Yeah, uh, Speaker of the House, not Secretary oh, of State. Speaker of the House, Vice President. And then president. Well, congratulations on your the ascent um, of your on-screen uh, political uh, career. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is an action movie, uh, so y you get to dive into the water. You maybe do a little bit of running. Is is that harder? It's a lot of running. You don't do a little bit of running, but you have to do too many no. takes. Is 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 that as hard as having to lie in a hospital bed in a coma? No, because when you're in a coma, you can actually go to sleep <laughs> you know you, you, you weren't performing i hate i hate to now admit it you perform sleep well yes, you thank, thank you very much yes <laughs> now nick uh you play clay uh banning uh mike's father the father wow. of uh, gerard butler um you bring some humor to the role but you also have a, a there's a, a a really deep seriousness about your character how do you balance those two you know, I didn't. I, I didn't balance it in real life. I'm not, it's not balanced in the film. It's. Uh, mm. I grew up in the era of Vietnam, so uh, I was draftable. But uh, I found a way around that. But uh, uh, that wasn't a popular war. This his father' experience with war was not good. He doesn't feel uh, he should contaminate his son with it. So he leaves his son. Uh, then you've got a question of trust and love and whether they can bond again. And a lot of explanation has to go into it. It's a great, great situation, father and son. Uh, because banning has to come from somewhere. Yeah. It has to come from humanity. It has to be human. And all these guys are human beings. They're not super. People. Yeah, and I find that people are that are um, been surrounded by violence, you know, soldiers, law enforcement, first responders, levity is a big part of their life of a pressure release. So I think it innately comes out, you know, in the moments of people that knowing how to vent. You know, now, we want to bring that to it. And Rick, you you did a documentary about PTSD, yes. and so that's touched upon in the film. Is that something that you were specifically wanting to do with this movie? Yeah, when 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 Jerry um, Butler talked about me coming in on this in, um, on this installment of the franchise, we were talking about the evolution of Mike Banning, and for a, a a man that had started in Army Rangers, was in Iraq in special operations, came home and what else do you know how to do? So he carried the gun as a Secret Service agent. So it's the only life that he's known. Um, the things that I learned on that, which I love, destroys me. You know about a Delta Force operator that was dealing with um, war addiction. You know, not trying to run away from war, but actually trying to stay in it, stay in the fight, because you're wired to that adrenaline rush. I knew that's what Mike Banning can be afflicted with. It could be a really interesting and new provocative way of showing somebody that's a career service member, whether they're law enforcement, um, first responders, military, professional athletes. You're doing everything you possibly can to stay on that proverbial field. And I think that a guy like Mike Banning would be doing nothing different. Well, it's a great movie, a lot of fun for people, to, but there's also a, some important things to, to, to look out for yeah. and to pay attention to. Thanks, guys, for the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.